Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. We are on that daily upload grind. If like everything went to plan, I've probably done like three daily uploads at this point. I I'm going crazy. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually stop FPS drops. Just generally just stop your Fortnite from stuttering. And I'm going to be giving you a few tips and a few methods as just to how you can ensure a more consistent frame rate when playing Fortnite Season 4. You know, the game is super demanding right now. Probably the hardest it's ever been to run. I don't know why. Every season it just gets worse and worse and yeah by now we all know the game is very poorly optimized and Donald Mustard needs to sort it out. Before we do get into this I do just want to mention Jesse is a simp and honestly Mary's just a snitch. Stupid. Oh and also if you do enjoy the video drop a like you don't understand how much that supports the channel guys like you know that just means the world to me dropping a like it takes two seconds it just helps out so much and also if you want to get the extra more you can subscribe to the channel you know you can always unsubscribe later down the line if you no longer enjoy my content just please give me that chance and just help me get closer to achieving my dreams you know I'm so close to 50,000 subscribers right now. But yeah, enough of the long intro. Let's just hop straight into the video. Okay, so as I'm already over on my Fortnite right now, this is kind of self-explanatory. Like, I wasn't even going to mention this in today's video. But basically, if you are not using these video settings in Fortnite, like, I don't know what you are doing. I actually did knock this right here. This is meant to be 83. But as you can see, these are the best video settings you could possibly use for Fortnite. Some of them may have an exception to them. So, for example, the frame rate, it's honestly based on the hertz of your monitor. So, I have 144 hertz, so I cap at 160, which is completely usual. If you have 60 hertz, I guess you can just cap at unlimited. And I think if you have a 240 hertz which a lot of you won't you do cap at 237 i'm pretty sure don't quote me on that moving down everything is kind of preference and like your graphics brightness and all of that stuff none of it will really affects performance but your graphics quality settings you do want to copy these are like ones right here they're the best you can get basically everything is either low off or like just the lowest setting and as you can see something a bit unusual my 3d resolution is actually set to 83 percent so i actually do play on native um it's just preference i create content so it's better for me but honestly if you are using native you are just at a complete disadvantage right now like honestly native resolution 9020 by 1080 offers no performance increase and you want to squeeze the most performance out of Fortnite right now so I would recommend you do use a stretch resolution one I can highly suggest would be 1722 by 1070 that is a great one for increasing your FPS but what I'm trying to say is it doesn't really matter if you use a native or stretch I do recommend you do use stretch but in this case I'm using native and what I've basically done is load my resolution to 83% which is equivalent to 1600 by 900p quality basically so for example 1920 by 1080 is 1080p quality and i think 1280 by 720 is 720p and what that basically does is it does squeeze more performance on my game and it does give you more consistent fps i'm moving down some more exceptions v-sync i'd only have it turned on if you have 60 hertz i don't have 60 hertz so i have it off high risk textures you do actually want this off this only really applies for those console players and nintendo players out there your direct x version you always want it on 11 so direct x 11 no matter what even if you are on an rtx or higher end card and then multi-thread rendering you'll only want this turned on if you do have four or more cores on your processor i kind of just didn't want to mention this in this video because honestly like two videos ago i mentioned all of this anyway but yeah to check if you have four or more cores on your cpu you just go into your task manager performance and it will say right here as you can see i have four cores which means i do actually have multi-thread rendering turned on and that's kind of the exception if you don't have four cores you just generally turn it off because as it does say up here if you do have weaker hardware which is less than four cores on your cpu basically it can just cause hitches and fps drops and and you do not want that and that's the exact reason you're actually on this video so yeah this is like a really important setting just make sure you have this right okay so now all the fortnite stuff is out of the way i'm over my desktop as you can see i'm now going to show you guys some more internal stuff on your pc give you some tips you can actually do with inside windows which will increase fps and stop this inconsistent fps you are getting i think the first basic one i'm going to start off is your nvidia control panel so if you do have an nvidia gpu this will benefit you and if you don't unfortunately you just have to skip this little tip right here but for those who do you should be able to right click your desktop and you should see this right here in video control panel if you do 100% have an nvidia cpu and you don't see it when right clicking like this what you can do is just go onto google search up nvidia control panel download and that is actually a way you can download it through the actual microsoft store so as you can see right here if you do not have it you can just download it but yeah for the most part you should be able to access it right here and yeah look here it is what i'm going to do is just show you guys my nvidia settings i shown these literally two videos ago so i'm not going to stick on them for too long but these are basically the settings you want to copy for the best performance and fps i'm sure a lot of you guys are 
done it by now, but maybe a few of you haven't. So on the tab, adjust image settings with preview. You want to just tick this one here, use the advanced 3D image settings, and then you want to go to manage 3D settings. And what you simply want to do is just copy all of these. So literally every single one of these you need to copy. You can pause the video, anything like that. Just copy these settings right here. Take my word for it. These are the best NVIDIA settings you could possibly use. Now after that, you want to go to program settings. So just tab across right here. And now what you want to do is make sure your Fortnite game or Fortnite client, you could say, is 100% using these as that global settings right here. So as I said, tab across to here and you just press add. So I've already got Fortnite added, but you should just see it like this. You just click on Fortnite. It should be on like your recent thing right here and you press add selected program. Of course, I've already done that. But once you do that, basically what you need to do is go through all of these settings right here and ensure it says use global settings. And now once you've done that, another important one would be down here, adjust desktop size and position. Now for my monitor, it actually doesn't have display scaling. So as you can see, when I click here, form scaling on, I only have GPU. That may be the case for some of you guys and if that is the case what you want to do is perform scaling on your GPU because that's then the only option you have and then what you want to do is then select no scaling and at that point you should just have nothing to worry about but if your monitor does support display scaling which a lot of monitors now will you basically want to click this and instead of performing scaling on your GPU what you want to do is perform scaling on your display and then what you want to do is choose full screen right here again that only goes if you can perform the scaling on your display it generally just doesn't matter if you can't but for those who can the reason you want to perform scaling on your GPU over your display is basically because GPU scaling for the most part just induces latency to the render pipeline at least in comparison to the display scaling module so short and simple what that means just kind of toned down a bit basically GPU scaling can just give you input lag so if you do have the option for display scaling please use it and now that is completely it for your Nvidia control panel you can close out of that now the next thing we are going to do is staying on the topic of Nvidia I thought I'd just quickly mention this for you guys here that again are on Nvidia GPUs I'm sorry for you guys that aren't this is the last tip I'm going to give for only NVIDIA people. So for those who this applies to, you will be familiar with this application right here, GeForce Experience. A lot of FPS boost guides or at least videos on YouTube will tell you to go on here and update your driver. For the most part, that's completely wrong. There's actually one driver which you want to be on and you want to stay on that driver and then just not really update it. So I'm not actually going to open up GeForce Experience myself because what that'll do, it will force auto update my driver, which I don't want it to do. But instead, I'm actually going to open up my control panel again. But if I go here and go to system information, it does say right here my driver and as you can see I'm on driver version 441.41 now this is actually an older driver than usual and for the most part you would look at this and think what is he doing he's on such an old driver like Nvidia literally released driver updates every single week like there's always a driver update consistently updating it is just not needed it's because they're not updating anything important so all that's doing every time you do an update it's just adding more unnecessary load onto your GPU and installing more stuff to your PC which you just do not need so for the most part this driver version right here it's a driver you want to be on it's the best for performance and can only benefit your game at least now no other driver is better than this and now this now applies for everyone the next tip i'm going to show you is now just making sure fortnite is at priority over anything else on your pc so you just put in fortnite the application as a whole basically in some form of priority so all your hardware is completely focused on fortnite to basically just give you the best performance so the way you're going to do that is go into the search bar right down here and search up graphics settings you should find it just here go into graphics settings once you're in here, you want to basically just choose an app to set a preference as it says. So you want to press browse. I've already got Fortnite in here, but you want to find this right here, Fortnite client Win64 shipping. So it needs to say exactly that. As you can see up here, this is the directory to find it, I guess, or navigate to this. So basically it's wherever your Fortnite is stored, whatever disk or hard drive Fortnite is in. So I actually have Fortnite on my SSD. So that's my C drive. And my SSD is on my main drive, my C drive right here. And then you go to Fortnite, Fortnite game, binary, Win64, and you find this folder. And then it's this one you want to select or add and I've already added it as you can see once you add it you want to just press options and just make sure it's on the highest graphics preference which for me is high performance it should be the same for you and yeah just press save I've already got it done and now Fortnite is running at a priority over literally anything on your PC and now I guess the final thing I'm going to mention would just be Windows settings. So if you go into your search bar right here and search up settings, there is actually a lot you can change in here. So first of all, system, notifications and actions, you literally want all of these turned off. I mean, unless you use any of them, focus assist, all of this turned off, parent and sleep, you want them both or never, like this doesn't really offer much performance increase, but you don't want your screen or PC just turning off after a certain amount of time. That's so dumb. Storage have turned off, title mode I have turned off. I do actually keep this on because I use this and yeah, everything else. 
I kind of just have turned off in here. A lot of this doesn't really matter, but it's best to have it off anyway. A very big one would be apps right here. So in here, you want to go down to startup. And what I'll do is have as much of these turned off as possible. Because without you even knowing, there's probably a lot of applications which are running and just starting on your PC startup. And you don't even know they're there or just consistently running in the background. And that can, of course, give you lower FPS when you are running Fortnite. So I have strictly the ones that I need to have turned on. But once you've done with this stuff, you can go to things such as privacy and there's a lot you want to turn off in here like literally i would go through all of this and just turn off absolutely everything so unless you use them for example this one right here let applications use your microphone i have this turned on and just basically disabled some of them individually here and then everything else kind of just doesn't matter so literally all of this i have turned off this right here is super important background apps you basically just want to turn this off and if you do have it on make sure all of these are just individually turned off by themselves these are just stupid background processes which if turned on are just running all the time like why would you want settings running in the background all the time why would you want your microsoft store maps music or things such as your alarm clock always running you just don't need it and yeah the rest of this just i guess turn off another super important one would be gaming right here what you want to do is turn off this like honestly if you haven't got this turned off already like i really don't know what you're doing game mode is one that you can't have it turned off it don't really matter it kind of optimizes windows for your pc it doesn't do too much there's like not much of a performance decrease having it on or off i keep mine on for the most part um i just feel like it's better and yeah i have my game bar of course turned off if you have this turned on that can really affect fps so just make sure it's turned off and guys that is basically it so you've done all the internal windows stuff you did all your nvidia settings your gpu stuff you're on the right driver you've also ensured that fortnite is running at the highest priority possible therefore all performance is then focused on fortnite and you've also probably copied my fortnite settings for the best performance as i've shown you all my video settings and that is kind of it there isn't really much more i want to mention in this video these are just basic things you need to be doing just to ensure better fps like this video is pretty kind of long i went really in depth with absolutely everything and hopefully you can respect that i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing like i try to keep it as brief yet informative as possible so you know what you're tweaking and also why you're tweaking that let me know in the comments if that is a good thing or not and if you actually got to this point of the video the end of the video comment mango down below literally the fruit mango because that's crazy if you got this far like that just means the world to me and hopefully this did help if it did drop a like subscribe to the channel so you never miss out but i hope you guys have an amazing day it's been your boy fetch and yeah peace